All right, guys, so let's make a classic lasagna bolognese. And of course, we're gonna start with the star of the show, the bolognese. It's olive oil, onion, celery, and carrot. Now, this is gonna require building layers of flavor. So we're gonna start by just softening these up a little bit, move them around, stir them up. Let them kind of come together. Let those flavors start mending. Once they start softening a little bit, you're gonna smell the aromas coming out of there. We're gonna do our first layer of seasoning. Just simple salt and pepper. I use kosher salt when I do this and some fresh cracked pepper. We're gonna give that another nice stir. We're not gonna cook these all the way down, just till they start to tenderize a little bit and then we're gonna add in our meat. Now this is where I like to get in there and break it up right away. I want this meat to be real small and real fine. I don't want big chunks in this. When I build my layers, I want it to be real even and I want it to be somewhat flat. So we're just gonna keep moving this around. I don't want it to cook through. Once it cooks, it's a little bit harder to break down. So before it browns, I'm just gonna keep chopping, chopping, chopping away. We're gonna get it all broke up. As it warms up, as it starts getting hot, it's gonna soften, it's gonna be even easier to chop up. So just keep it moving around, guys. Just breaking it. It's real simple. I move this around basically the whole time. We get it looking like this. Once you got it pretty much cooked through, we're gonna get ready to add another layer of flavor. Like I said, we're building layers. So I got this cooked, I got it all broke up. We're gonna go in with some more salt, a little bit more fresh cracked pepper, and I got some fresh herbs. I'm using rosemary and thyme today. And for dried herbs, I have some dried oregano. Then we're gonna squeeze in a little bit of garlic. I was being lazy, but that's okay, this stuff works. So mix that in there really well. Get it all stirred around. And guys, we're gonna go ahead and make a little well in the center here. This is where we're gonna put our tomato paste. You wanna build a little well. You wanna cook your tomato paste a little bit before you mix it in. Just let it start kind of warming up. Let it bloom, if you will. Go ahead and just get that stirred in now. And go in with whatever wine you like. I'm gonna use some nice red wine. I have a Cabernet Sauvignon, classic. 2023 box wine works great especially for a sauce like this so I pour that in I'm gonna give that a stir because of that tomato paste it's already gonna thicken up a little bit we're gonna go in with our tomato sauce I'll just pour that in give that a nice stir now get everything mixed around really well this is almost ready to just put down on low and let it go. Stir it up really good. It's still fairly loose at this point. My last ingredient is going to be some bay leaves. Mix those in. Another couple stirs. Once it starts to simmer like that, guys, I'm going to throw on the lid, throw it on the back burner, and it's time to make our bechamel. Now, the first thing you want to do is take your milk or heavy cream like I'm using today, and we want to scald it. That's important for making your bechamel. So the scald is when you kind of see those little bubbles on the side start to form. That's perfect. Set that aside and melt your butter. Now I do four cups of milk, four tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to add in four tablespoons of flour. That's the perfect recipe. So I mix in that flour and butter. I'm going to let that start cooking for a few minutes. We want to cook some of that starch out of there. We don't want to brown this and get it too dark. But let it cook for a few minutes and I'm going to add my cream a little bit at a time. It's going to thicken up pretty quickly. Go ahead and add some more cream in there as soon as that starts getting thick on you. Give it another little stir. We're going to do this two or three times. Cream, stir, cream, stir. You're going to start seeing this nice consistency that you get. You want to get it to the perfect thickness. That's why I don't put it all in at once, just in case. Seasoning for this is going to be a little bit more salt, fresh cracked pepper, and then the key is that fresh grated nutmeg. You can use the stuff that's pre-grated. It's not going to hurt. Give that a little stir. You guys, that's looking just about perfect. I'm going to thin mine out just a little bit more. Once it looks like that, nice and ribbony, I'm going to add in a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I don't know if that's traditional or not, but that's what I like to do. Give that a little bit of a stir. 
That's ready. Now it's been about an hour that bolognese has been cooking. It's it's thickened up a little bit. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and grate some mozzarella cheese. We're gonna set that aside. It's time to build us a lasagna. So I got my big pan. We're going seven layers today. I'm gonna put a little bit of that bolognese down on the bottom. It's gonna help keep the pasta from sticking. And I'm using these cook as you go noodles so you don't even have to pre-cook them. And they'll expand so I don't have to worry about them not being the exact size right up to the edge. Once they cook, they're gonna get out there. So I like to put a layer of bolognese down, then I put a little layer of the bechamel. I just kind of mix that around, kind of keep it nice and even. And I'm gonna put a little sprinkling of that Parmesan cheese right on top of there. We're just gonna repeat the process. More pasta, more bolognese, spread it out. A little more bechamel. And we're gonna spread that around. Get a nice even layer once again. And keep going. This is made with love and it takes all afternoon, guys, but it's totally worth it. More pasta, more sauce, more bechamel. Just keep layering them. You don't have to do it this way. This is the way I like to do it. I think it comes out really good. I'll do a little more cheese, pasta, sauce, cheese, pasta, sauce, cheese. I'm going seven layers, guys, till I get all the way to the end. I got my final layer of bolognese. I'm going to throw down my final layer of bechamel. And once again, same thing, spread it around. I'm going to throw in my final layer of Parmesan cheese on top of that. Nice little sprinkling. And then, guys, we're going to hit it with that mozzarella. Nice thick layer. Get it all over the top. Make sure you're fairly even. And we're going to cover this with foil. I'm going in the oven, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to take that foil off. That's gonna go back in the oven now. Same temperature, 350 for 15 more minutes. And when it comes out, look at that. Let it just sit there now for about 15 minutes. Let it set. If you cut right into it, it's just gonna ooze apart. All right, we want it to firm up a little bit. And don't worry, this thing is scorching hot. It's not gonna cool off while you let it sit for a few minutes. Go ahead and get your knife. It's time to cut this thing. So I'm gonna cut myself a nice square. I like that corner piece. It has a little bit of crispity crunch right on the end. And guys, look at that. Oh, I am so excited. Wow. Grab yourself a fork, man, and just get in there and enjoy. What a treat. This thing was creamy and rich and exactly what I needed. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.